So this is a pruning saw. I first saw another manufacturer's version of this a few years ago, and I've been uh, using these kinds of tools uh, pretty often uh, for trimming branches and cutting up small pieces of wood. It's, it's really handy. Um, little wee chainsaw bar. This one's an 8-inch bar. Another brand has a 6-inch bar. I've seen three manufacturers that make these so far. We're probably going to see quite a bit, quite a few more, um, just because it fills a, a gap in the cordless tool scene for the kind of work you're going to see me doing here. And um, it's fairly safe, uh, a lot safer than a chainsaw, just because the bar is so much smaller. I've also found that the chains uh, stay sharp a long time, probably because they never ever get it near any dirt, because um, you're, you're pruning away. You're not cutting logs on the ground like you might with a chainsaw. Uh, this one has a nose guard to stop the, the end of the tool from touching anything or kicking back or anything like that. So it's, it's, it's fairly safe as these things go. I'm going to show you how it works on a branch that needs trimming. But uh, before I do, I've got to fill up the reservoir here. So a chainsaw takes gas mixed with oil for the engine and then a separate reservoir of oil for the, to lubricate the chain. Of course, this doesn't need gasoline, but it does need chain lubrication. So depending on the battery size, you will need to uh, top up this reservoir maybe after every battery change or two. Keep your eye on it. it it's, it's easy to let it run dry because you don't have an engine running out of gas to tell you you need more chain oil too. So it uh, comes with a fairly small battery, just 3 amp hour, but it can take much larger batteries. And The larger battery is not going to give you any more power really, but it is going to give you a lot more run time. Let's go and cut a branch and see how it works. Now this is a fairly long branch and I want to give you a little tip. Ultimately I want to cut it flush to the trunk, but chances are very good that if I do that now when the branch comes down it's going to tear a strip of bark off the trunk and I don't want to do that. So whenever I trim branches I always trim a ways back from where I ultimately want to trim because you know if any funny business happens here the bark gets damaged it's no big deal. So I'll start here and then I'll make a second cut to remove the trunk, uh, the branch right close to the trunk. Pretty fast, huh? There, it's done. Now, I'm gonna be um, trimming this because I've got a wood chipper, a big tractor mounted wood chipper. That's how I get rid of branches like this. It turns waste into a useful mulch. But uh, just got another couple of cuts here to make it smaller and more handle handleable. Now that, that chain's cutting pretty fast because it's a new chain, but I have used tools like this sometimes for two, a couple of seasons and not had to resharpen the chain at all. As I said, it lasts a long time, probably because it sticks, stays out of the dirt. Um, but a handy tool, you're going to see this come up more and more often. I've recommended these tools to people who've come to me and said, I got some branches to trim, a whole bunch of brush to take care of. Something like this does a really good job. It's a regular part of my tool kit right now. Mm -hmm.